Greetings and welcome to Kenneth's Story Time. What's the story today, then, Karen? Today's story is Sleeping Beauty. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll just get ready a moment and could you read me a story, please? Then I'd love to. Now, are you sitting comfortably? I am. Okay, snuggle down. Oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a king and queen who were very happy, except for one thing: they both longed to have children, but they had. Every day they said to each other, Oh, if only we had a child. Now it happened one day, when the Queen had been bathing, a frog crept out of the water and spoke to her. It said, Your wish shall come true. Before a year has gone by, you shall have a daughter. Oh, the Queen was delighted and she hurried to tell her husband the good news. Within the year, it happened, as the frog had said, a baby daughter was born to the King and Queen and they were filled with joy. The child was so pretty that everyone who came to see her cried, What a beautiful baby! The king was so proud of his baby daughter that he ordered a wonderful christening feast to be prepared. The king invited all his friends to the feast, as well as kings, queens, princes and princesses from other kingdoms. The king wanted the good fairies to be godmothers to his daughter. Now there were only 13 fairies in his kingdom. But one was very old and no one had seen her for many years. As the king only had 12 golden plates, he invited just 12 of the fairies to come to the christening feast. The old fairy was not invited. Then the lords and ladies in the great hall awakened and the whole place began to stir. In the kitchen, the fire began to burn and the meat began to cook. The maid began to pluck the chicken. The scullery boy ran off before the cook could box his ears. In the courtyard, the dogs awakened and began to bark. In the stables, the horses were stirring and the pigeons on the roof awakened and flew away. The palace had come to life again after its sleep of 100 years. Everyone in the palace was both astonished and delighted. Around the palace, the high hedge vanished. A wonderful wedding feast was prepared, the handsome prince was married to Sleep and Beauty, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. And that's the end of story time today, Chris.